Hey, Miles Beckler here. In this video, we're going to go deeper into this custom audience and we're going to create a lookalike audience. And we'll talk a little bit more about how lookalike audiences work on Facebook because they're a really, really powerful way for you to kind of grow your audiences and essentially kind of grow the pool of people you'll be marketing to to really kind of increase your reach with your ads uh, so you can get more interested people into your funnel. So first of all, the, the lookalike audience, what it does is you start with one of your audiences that you've uploaded to Facebook pay-per-click system. Uh, we did that in the last video. The link will be in the description if you haven't seen how to do that. Uh, you need at least a thousand people inside of this audience from one country. And then you can tell Facebook, hey Facebook, I want you to create a new audience that is between 1 and 10% of the population of a specific country. And Facebook will find the most similar people to those people who you have in your current audience. So let me kind of, that was a little abstract, but let me explain it again here in a different way using specifics. If you have an audience of 5,000 customers, right? You have a customer list, you've sold 5,000 products. You upload that to Facebook and you say, Facebook, these are my customers. Here's 5,000 of them. I want you to go find the 2 million people in the United States of America who are most similar to these 5,000 people. And Facebook will literally go create that audience for you. And it looks at all the data points it collects on every one of us. And it creates a custom audience for you that is between two and 20 million people um, and that's one to ten percent of the US population that's on Facebook essentially and you're allowing kind of you're able to use Facebook's uh, data mining that they do on all of us for your benefit and so if you've got 5,000 people who have pulled out their credit card and purchased with you then let Facebook give you the next two million people in the United States who are most similar to those people who already bought from you and there's a high likelihood that your next customers are right there on that customer audience. So if you don't have 5,000 customers, you can do this with leads as well and with your prospect list and you can say, hey, these are the 1,000 or two or 5,000 people who have subscribed for my freebie and Facebook will go pull the most similar people who have subscribed and they'll give you a new audience that you can market to of who they think are the most likely people to be similar psychographically and demographically to the people who took the action that you want. All right, enough abstraction here. Let me get myself out of the way and let's actually go inside of Facebook and do some work, right? Because this is where the rubber meets the road. So again, in the last video, if you haven't seen it, we created this audience right here. Now I uploaded a list. I believe it was it was like 6,500 or 7,000, just under 7,000 people was the size of the audience I uploaded and 48,000 or 4,800, excuse me, of those people actually are registered and active Facebook users. Uh, you'll notice that, that Facebook only counts the active users. I don't exactly know what the date is, logged in X amount of times in the last month or two type situation. So now I have an audience of 48 hundred people. Now I can do some cool things with this audience as is. The first thing I could do is create an advertisement to help them get to the next step in my funnel. So if this was an email subscription audience right here, I could give them an ad saying, hey, I'm glad to have you on the list. Check out this product that is really the next step from the free item that you got. If this is a customer list that purchased a tripwire or a small seven to $27 product, I could then show them an advertisement advertisement marketing the next most logical product I have in my offering, potentially even a higher value product. It could also be a webinar registration. If I wanted to sell via a webinar, I would then market a webinar registration to this audience via a Facebook ad. And we'll go into the technical side of how we do that in later um, videos, but it's all kind of done through through the ad set level of who your audience is. Another thing you can do with this audience is you can exclude this audience. So once we make this uh, look like audience, which we'll do here in a minute, uh, you'll see that if, well, if you think about this, right, so you're running an ad to the lookalike audience based on this audience here. I don't want this audience to see the ad to opt into my list. They've already opted into my list. So I exclude this group and I show my ad to the lookalike audience. And that's really some of the powerful stuff. And that's how I've really kind of grown our list upwards of 100,000 subscribers in, in a relatively short amount of time for a, a, a great value, I guess. It didn't cost all that much. Um, so 
here's our audience and how do you do it, right? The easiest way, you click the box to the left and under actions, we go to create lookalike. Now, it says find the people on Facebook who are similar to my existing audience. And you'll notice we have this little slider here and it says the percent of the country, right? So the audience size and it's between one and 10%. Now, I recommend starting with the 1% mark because what this is, is it's the most relevant people, right? And that's what, what it's all about is relevance and engagement in, in marketing online and on Facebook. You want it to be focused on the most relevant people. If you can't get your ads to work and you can't get your ad set in your funnel to cash flow positive at the 1% level, the odds of it working at the 7 or 5 or 10% level is very slim. So start at the 1% because it's the highest likelihood of relevance. If you get this working well and you're profitable on your ad spend or you're even break even on your list growth here, you can come back and create an audience out to 4 or 5% and then you can exclude this 1% audience and you can see if your your ad set scales to this larger audience. And if it does, you can kind of slowly grow and grow and grow your audience. So first thing you have to do is you have to choose a country. Um, I know I have enough subscribers on this segment here of my list in the United States. So I'm going to choose the United States and you see that it instantly allowed it and it tells me the number, right? So 1% of the audience is about 2 million people. So 1% of Americans on Facebook who are active, it, it turns out to be about 2 million people. And as I slide this up, you can see it actually automatically adjusts that number for me and going all the way up to about 20 and a half million people. But again, if you're just starting with this tool, start at the 1%. And what you do is simple, right? It's like we leave this as the source because I want to see that the source is the same as the name here. I set the country 1% and I click create audience. It's hidden right behind me there. So create audience and it takes a quick minute and it says not ready. Now these audiences take um, a little bit of time, uh, you know, usually within an hour or two. Uh, this is kind of one of those things that I set up and go have lunch and I come back to it later in the afternoon or later in the evening and then set my ad sets up. So I've created one of these lookalike audiences and I'm going to go back to actions, create lookalike since it's still checked back here. And I'm going to see if I have enough people in the United Kingdom to create the audience. I do. So my list has enough people on it This that I'm starting with, this uh, 4,800 people. There's enough people in the United Kingdom to create an audience. And you'll notice this is a much smaller audience. It's only 400,000 people. And that's because there's less people in the United Kingdom on Facebook who are active users. It makes sense. So I create that audience. And what I do is, see, I know my target market, and this goes back to some of the older videos about knowing your audience and your customer avatar. Um, I know that my target market and my market, my marketing works, and my audience is in the US, the UK, um, Australia is another one. So let's go create a lookalike audience for Australia. And let's see if it's big enough for that. It is, and you can see again, our audience size is getting smaller yet. And I create the audience. And I know this because I've been working on it, but I want to show you what it looks like if you get the wrong size audience. So let's go Afghanistan, which I don't have uh, anybody in Afghanistan. And oh my goodness. I have an Afghanistan audience. That is absolutely crazy. I had no idea. Um, so if you don't have enough people in an audience, it will error out in that process. Um, obviously, I'm going to try Ireland because I do have a good Ireland audience. Leave it at 1%, create audience, and you can see it's only 27,000 people. But these are 27,000 people. Ah, so you can see right here, it doesn't error out anymore. Again, Facebook iterates so much that things change all the time. And you can see it's actually sourcing the audience based on the US. So these are not going to be, it used to just error out, and now it sources it based on a different audience. And I don't want that because that's not going to be as relevant. So I've just highlighted those two. I'm going to make sure I don't highlight this one, go under actions, and I'm going to delete that, and I'll delete all and it will remove them from my account. So what have I done here, right? Now, I've taken this little recap, this 4,800 subscriber segment that we created in the last video, showed exactly how to set this up in the last video, and I've now said, hey, Facebook, here's 4,800 of my customers. Go bring me the 1% of people in the United States 
Great Britain and Australia who are most similar to my 4,800 customers. And what we'll do in a future video is create an ad set and an ad and a campaign that will market to these people. And I already know that since they're similar based on Facebook's 160 data points on all of us, um, or 200 data points or whatever it is, they're similar to this audience, which means they have a high likelihood of wanting what I offer. This is really, truly one of the things that makes Facebook's pay-per-click system very special. And it's the ability to do this kind of targeting based on your audience to say, hey, these are my customers. Facebook, go give me a list of uh, two to three million people who are most similar to this so I can show them advertisements for my offer. And we'll get into that in the future ones, but really, Get started here, get your first custom audience in if you've got an email list or a customer list and then create your lookalike audiences. It's gonna take um, probably an hour or two to get this kind of where they turn green and they'll just say ready and it'll tell you the exact size um, once it's done and we'll put those to use in another video. So I am Miles Beckler. I do thank you very much for your time. I'm glad that you watched this video. Getting into the Facebook pay-per-click system is by far one of the biggest things that has helped me take my business to the next level. Um, mix this with a funnel that works, it's break even or is profitable off the click and you really have a system that can grow your business online extremely quickly, um, very minimizing what you need to do. A uh, five page funnel and one of these pay-per-click campaigns and you, you really have enough to create uh, five figure monthly income. Um, with the system. So I look forward to showing some more in kind of behind the scenes and how to use the power editor in Facebook pay-per-click so you can get your Facebook pay-per-click running. Uh, subscribe to the channel here in order to get those videos as they are released. Leave me a comment if you have any questions about this and give me a thumbs up here on YouTube if you like the video. I appreciate your time. I'm Miles Beckler. See you on the next video.